How are we going everyone? Today's freezing. It's literally icy cold coming straight from the mountains and we've got some clouds rolling in. It's been raining on and off continuously. Everything's pretty damp under the foot and you can see the clouds above there. They're pushing through in the next five minutes. We're going to get another downpour here and I thought I'd talk about early flowering on trees because we've had a lot of emails coming through in a couple of spots on radio had to talk about is it too early for trees to actually flower this time of year uh, flowering cherries plums pears things like that even your fruit type so let's take a walk around that little orchard here to see what's going on see if we've got any trees about to push any flowers or if they're still dormant peach oh it's dead <laughs> wrong tree to start with <laughs> <laughs> Got to replace that one, remind me. This is a good sign, not too swollen at the moment yet because it's still too cold. If they bloom up too early and the weather changes and or stays cold folks, what's going to happen? It's not going to set fruit and if it does, it's not going to grow properly or the flowers are going to fall off before they actually set. Come along, the rains are coming. The rains have started folks. <laughs> We've got flowers here, almond trees, one of the earliest ones to flower. There's water all over the place so we're not going to stay here too long. If you've got a tree that's blooming this early, like the almond tree, you're lucky. But if it's an apple or pear or plum and it pushes on, be weary of it actually keeping its flowers if you expect it to set fruit. Let's keep walking, mate. Got caught out in that one, didn't we? Now, folks, when it rains like this and the cold weather's bl blistering through, it's not the sort of weather you want to have your trees flowering in. Now, some trees will come on flower early, like you saw with my almond tree. That's one out of the five almond trees. For whatever the reason, it's decided to flower early. It has no representation of our climate. Obviously, look at out here. It's about five degrees at the moment it feels like minus one and the tree is actually blooming so if that keeps its fruit lucky me if it doesn't well I expect it to drop its fruit uh, fruit that is and I'm not disappointed but if you've got a tree in your garden and the question has been asked me is it really early to flower yes it is early to flower but if you've got now consider this also if your property has been built up or your your location has been built up with larger homes on smaller properties your microclimate and i speak about microclimates a lot and that represents the space that you are growing something in so whether it's your front yard backyard or down the side of your property that's a microclimate that you created or was created for you by the trees the houses the fence lines and things like that so the temperature will vary dramatically as to what it is out there in the open. So if I was to compare this weather here with the houses down the road about a kilometre away, which are on smaller plots, we're on 20 acres, no doubt they will have a warmer temperature or microclimate than I do. So if they had an almond tree or even a flowering cherry tree, more than likely, or well, the chances are, they would be blooming earlier, much earlier than my trees. Now, out of the 200 there, there's only one tree flowering, as you saw. But in other regions, like or other states, even warmer states, definitely there'll be trees already Already blooming especially the, the plum trees one of the earliest ones that will flower and probably fruit for you as well but the weather needs to be right so cold weather like we have here don't expect too much to happen and if it does hopefully it sets its fruit what can you do to contain the fruit on the tree or the flowers on the tree longer calcium calcium is a secret to longer fruit on the tree longer flowers better cell wall development and defense mechanisms built into the plant to protect itself from the cold the heat dehydration and obviously too much moisture now calcium comes in many forms the best form of calcium is black grit so obviously if you want long lasting flowers fruit and vegetables use black grit and you'll find it on our website facilitiesgarden.com and don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter it's free and you go into the drawer for a chance to win a vip subscription which includes four magazines delivered to your door it's all at facilities garden garden.com. From Eva Silly, Maresi, stay warm.